as we continue to bring an increased awareness to the upcoming Atlantic hurricane season beginning on June 1st, we are highlighting day six of Hurricane Preparedness Week, and today's topic is use caution after a storm. Once a storm is passed, there are some safety tips to keep in mind. Do not let your guard down as nearly half of hurricane fatalities occur after the storm. The first thing seems obvious. Do not go outside until the storm is passed. Throughout the storm, stay up to date with the latest information and you will know when it is deemed safe to go out. When you do go out, remain vigilant as hazards will remain even after the skies turn blue. Be careful near damaged structures. Walk carefully around the outside of your home to check for loose power lines. These can be on the ground, hidden in water, or dangling overhead. If you notice any, stay away to avoid electric shock. Check for gas leaks and be aware of other dangerous debris. Flooded roads are also very dangerous. It's difficult to judge just how deep or how swift the water is moving. Just 12 inches of water can float a car. Floodwaters can also compromise bridges and roads. Even if you are seeking supplies or trying to check on someone, remember the phrase, turn around, don't drown. Avoid walking through floodwaters as they can contain harmful bacteria, chemicals, sharp objects, and even dangerous animals. After a storm, practice generator safety. Only use a generator outdoors and be sure that it is 20 plus feet away from your home, doors, and windows. Never use a generator inside your home or garage even if doors and windows are open. Carbon monoxide is one of the leading causes of deaths in areas dealing with power outages. As cleanup efforts begin, do not push yourself. Straining your body can lead to serious issues. Perform cleanup slowly and take frequent breaks. Also, be sure to check on your neighbors. If you evacuate, only return home when directed. Help and communications may not be readily available after a storm. Emergency responders may be overwhelmed and it could take days for them to reach you. That is the reason you need to be self-sufficient for one week. Making phone and video calls could also be difficult due to network congestion. If possible, communicate through text, email, and social media. Thanks for spending a minute with EM.